Hey everybody, welcome back to Trinity Dairy. Don't forget to like and share the video, subscribe to the channel, check out our merch store. We'll have a link in the description for that. And you can follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Today is January 17th, 2023. It's, it's nice out, the sun's shining, it's warmed up a little. Um, we're in the middle of the day here now, I think it's about six above, so that's nice. The wind has picked up a little bit today, it was pretty calm this morning. Um, we've come out of some pretty cold weather, definitely not as cold as a lot of places around the country. Um, I think the lowest we had was probably like 10 or 11 below, and I think the high for the day was like one or two below. So that's, it's cold, but it definitely could be a lot worse. But anyway, today what we're going to work on, um, we're going to head out to the woods, bring in some firewood. I've got some trees cut down out there that we cut down a few days ago. I'm going to sharpen up the saw here and uh, see if the skid steer will fire up. I've got that plugged in. We'll head out and see if we can drag some wood out of the woods. And um, I got a new um, hook for my logging chain I was going to put on. I figured I'd show you that. It's something a little bit different. Um, some of you have probably seen it, but... We'll see how that works out and, and see if we can get a few other little projects done today. going too crazy with this chain it's not extremely dull um, this is a pretty new chain so I'm just just touching it up a little bit I don't need to go hog wild on it um, the chain that I had on here before we were cutting wood down in the river bottom down there it was just because it floods down there the wood was full of sand and it was just kind of a it was just dull in the chain. You couldn't even cut one tree and the chain was dull and it was a kind of a mess. So I'm thinking about, um, there's a lot of good wood down there. So I'm thinking about getting a carbide chain when I'm cutting down there. I've heard those are supposed to hold up a lot better for that kind of stuff. If any of you have ever used one, um, let me know what you thought of it. I know you have to get them specially sharpened, but there's a lot of good wood down there and I hate to leave it go to waste, but I don't want to have to buy a, new chain every couple of trees either all right that should be pretty good set that to the side grab our chain so here's the the link i had it's just a slip hook or uh, the link i had the hook i had a slip hook with this little spring loaded thing um, and they work they definitely work I've used it a lot I'll show you the new one I've got I've actually had this for quite a while I think I got it last spring well then during the summer I didn't really use it and um, I gave one to my dad I got one for him too and he put it on and I sounded like he really liked it so here's the new one and my uncle told me about these he's seen them on another channel i think it was a channel for a, they did like towing and heavy equipment rescue stuff like that so your link can slide in here and uh then it can't come back out so you don't have to deal with that spring tab so we're going to give that a try and see how we like it i got to get a pliers here and pull this one off Nice and shiny. I hate to scratch it up. This one has a little different pin. It's got a shoulder in the bottom hole and a kind of a roll pin you drive down in or a solid pin you drive down in and then a little roll pin that goes through above it to uh, keep it from coming out of there.
I grab a little hammer. There, that was simple enough. All right, well, we'll give that a try. All right, well, the skid steer's been plugged in for a couple hours. We'll see if that'll start. the skid steer to warm up and then I have a water tank behind the barn filling so I wanted to wait for that before I headed out to the woods I got a little project here in the milk house um, this moisture trap here on our milking system what this does so this is the jar that your wash water or your milk whatever comes into um, and when it gets so full it trips uh, a probe in there makes a circuit and then turns the pump on and pumps the milk into the bulk tank so all your vacuum is fed through this tank and inside of here there is a little plastic ball so if something happens with that pump this jar will fill up with milk or water or whatever's in there and it'll overflow into here and then once this starts filling up with it that ball will suck up against this pipe and it'll shut your vacuum off. So if you're out in the barn and something happens in here, all your milkers will fall off and let you know that something's going on in here and it also protects your vacuum pump from having a bunch of milk or something get sucked into that. But anyway, it's got a rubber gasket here because you can pull this can off to clean it or to get the, if you gotta get the ball out of there if it doesn't fall out on its own. Um, and this gasket, I don't know, it's old. I'm sure it's probably original one. And it's in pretty bad shape. It's cracked up and it's starting to suck in here. So I got a new one. IBA left me a new one. So we're going to see if we can put that in. There's the inside of it. That blue thing, that's the ball that floats up and shuts off. And then in the bottom, there's a drain. So when there's no vacuum on it, that little thing in the bottom will fall down and whatever's in here can drain out. And then up here, there's just that white cone. That's what the ball goes up into if that gets full. Oh yeah, you can, I don't know how well it'll show up on camera, but it's pretty cracked up. Pretty rough. Time to be replaced. I think it's in there. We'll fire it up and see if it's leaking. Sounds good. Don't hear no leaking. 
back here behind the barn i got this is the tank i'm filling and i got the hose running from the wood boiler like i talked about before so this tank was about half full this morning and it was frozen over justin came down to chip it open so they could drink and he said there was probably about three inches thick of ice in there so i turned this on and they came up to drink and all the ice that's in the water is pretty much gone completely and they really like having that warm water too it uh i think it helps them too when it's cold to have that warm water it helps they don't have to work on warming up their body so much but uh yeah this is i've been doing it this way through this this cold snap and the wind has been kind of blowing right on this tank and like i said it it freezes up overnight but open it up and fill it up with some fresh warm water and thaws right out so that a lot better than having to run those electric heaters that's for sure they always made me nervous anyway having a 110 volt heating coil submerged in a water tank it uh, always kind of made me a little nervous but anyway the skid steer should be warmed up that's not too far from full so we can head out to the woods worked good didn't come off it latched on easy didn't have to mess with that little spring clip so that was nice we'll get this one cut up and um, get that loaded up
Well, there we got a, <coughs> excuse me, got a little batch of wood brought up. I wanted to get more today, but other things come up, didn't work out that way, but I'm glad to have gotten that much up. It's nice with not having much snow, it's easy to get into the woods. Um, we brought a whole bunch up, me and my brother Paul came over and the two older boys and me went out and brought about four or five of those big skid steer buckets loads up before the cold snap. So I haven't really, I haven't even had to cut any wood till just now, but it's nice to keep the pile going. I still got a little over a bucket load there. So if I can keep adding to that every day, works pretty good. I've been splitting it by hand out there. I do have a hydraulic splitter, but in this kind of weather, it's much faster to just split that stuff by hand. I'm cutting birch and that stuff pops open pretty good, cutting it by hand or splitting it by hand. And then that kind of keeps a lot of that mess out in the woods instead of dragging it up to the yard. So anyway, I got to head off to the bus route now. So uh, probably not a real long video, but Hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching. God bless and we'll see you in the next one.